may be seated. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is the last night. I'm not going to be up long. But let me say this. Last night at Bishop Walker's convocation, I was finished preaching in 52 minutes. Prophesying, leave him alone. But what I want to say, see, he's doing that not because he's excited about music. He's excited about his future. And 30 of you that know that you're coming to the end of the worst season of your life, you got 30 seconds to dance right where you are. Praise him, Richard. Jesus Ten seconds You may be seated. You may be seated. You may be seated. I I have said to I said to Apostle Coleman. I said, do they have any, like, anointing oil in the office? He said, yes. I said, I may need you tonight. I don't know at what point of the service. But this is what I want to say. Several of you are going to be anointed because God said, based upon your behavior, whoever's been in here renting and you don't like where you rent, you're about to qualify for a home right around the corner. And if it's you, I'd get up and dance again. Cause tonight is something about the feet. Scream as loud as you can. Be seated. There will be there will be some miracles. I want to call them.
supernatural interventions for people who know that God does not need anything to bless you. All he needs is for you to believe. Tell somebody down your road like you're from a sanctified church, I believe God. Don't say it like you're from a Catholic church. Say it like you're from a Pentecostal church. And tell your neighbor, I believe God. I believe. Y'all don't scream like that, huh? Oh, Lord. Wow. Oh, Lord. The old school would say, so many people doubt him. I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's what? Jesus is real to me. Be seated. Pastor J. Alexander, good to see you. There's a last name. I can't put a first name to it because God is not moving in that direction. But if your name is this last name, you need to dance. Everything will be solidified with your feet. Amen. We all gonna lose a half a pound for those who are serious about their future. But the Lord said, I'm giving supernatural intervention to the people with the last name Campbell. Oh, that's another, Lord Jesus. What? There go another one, I don't hear nobody. There goes another one right in the back. And y'all won't clap for them. It's in their feet. It's in their feet. That's your son dancing. The same miracle is going to a family with the last name Wilson. Whoever the Wilsons are, you better get you some floor. There they go. gotta be done quick I want to ask a question be, please be seated are, are, are any of the Wilsons born in December any Wilsons born in December that's you coming down the aisle is it the 23rd alright I want to say something to you Everything you need God to do concerning your new address. God says, tell her I'm not going to rip her off of money. I'm not going to even fix the credit. Tell her I'm going to get all in the keys, all in the house, the wood. And God said that anybody that dances for this woman will be blessed right now. It's in their feet. We're going to lose a little weight.
You may be seated. I'm not making you dance by yourself. I'm out of breath too. No, I can't take it easy. I'm thanking God for my future. So many people are not going to see the end of what God has for them. God's going to hand what he promised you to your children. But I want to give mine to my children. Another name, Nicholson. Who's Nicholson? I think I'm going to put... The, who's Nicholson? You're taking too long to talk to me. What's your first name? Who? August 26. I want to say something to you. You married? Where is he? God said, if this young lady dances, what is supposed to end in a divorce, I'm going to reverse it and show her that I am her God. Somebody didn't like that. Y'all not going to help us? somebody and say neighbor you ought to dance with me just because of this testimony millions didn't make it but you're looking at one of the ones who did tell me I should be dead by now but the mere fact that I'm still here you ought to be glad I ain't danced like this in three years been able to get me to dance. Let's go flowing place. Get with the flow. Look to my tongue. Get with the flow. No more dancing for any of you who are just moved by musicality. I love music. I used to play. But any of you that know the devil's given you a difficult year and you're in something that you really want God to get you out of immediately, you better make that floor your partner and you better let your feet talk to that wood and that carpet and give up a shit Praise him, Sean! with my son. Let me return the favor.
Let me say this, then I'm going to preach. Look at me. I didn't see it till tonight. I cannot, in the office, divulge what I see. But, you have certain people that came tonight, even some that claim to be your friend, to see you fail. They are highly jealous, intimidated, that you've done this this quickly. But God said, when you dance, I'm sending you five new friends. Two of them are white, you're going to preach at their church. Three of them are black, and you ain't going to worry about appointments for the rest of your life. And somebody with a hand clap, foot stomp, hand clap, foot stomp, hand clap, foot stomp, hand clap, foot stomp. your friend they dance with you they praise for you be seated no more music don't touch nothing y'all retire until about 40 minutes. Retire, take it off. Put it where you put it or hold on to it, whatever y'all do. I feel all right. I don't play with it, I'm in my 60s. My, what I have is real. It's authentic. It's from way back. I'm from that church that believes when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Do I have anybody that got that from your family and all that he's done for me? What you do? My soul does what? Cries out what? For what? Now I have a very tough meal for you to swallow. Be seated and if you get quiet on me, I pray you get all your bills back. Even though that can't happen, but. I asked your pastor, your bishop, what was on his heart for his people. Give me three folk that'll talk like we in the AME church. We'll be Baptist in about 20 minutes, but let's be AME. Let's, let's hold the conversation. Somebody shout glory to God. Mm -hmm. I do want to reveal this also. God is recruiting new soldiers to grab the baton from those that he has without them knowing it, fired them. See, can't get no second row help. The Bible says, Samson did not know that the Lord departed. And then it says, Saul did not know he was rejected. And God still called Saul his prophet and his anointed. You can have your position and lose your job. Will you tell somebody that? that would you tell somebody? You can have your position and lose your job. Sometimes it's better to keep a job and not want a position. I wish. Can I get my three AME people to talk to me? Positions come with responsibility. Sometimes they don't come with money that matches the responsibility y'all stop everybody stop running after becoming baby bishops and junior prophets and just be saved for a little while will you touch someone tell them just be saved for a little while you know when people are being retired by the Holy Spirit 
when the only time they are happy is when they preach or have a mic. Aside from that, they don't dance like they used to. They don't come into the service till it's time to preach. But what if God comes back before you go on stage? I'm afraid, y'all ain't with me, I got about 38. I'm afraid of preachers who don't praise, who don't clap, who don't dance, who don't run. Especially when they're young. He called the young because they're strong. That's why some of you young folk are getting sick quick because you're not taking advantage of the youth that God has given you. Stop sitting around like you 80 and 70 and talking slow. God bless you. Man, talk like you talk and, and, and wait till you get old. Your tone don't match your age. duplicating people and become a perfect version of yourself. Touch somebody and tell them what I said. See if they understand me. Stop duplicating people and become a perfect version of yourself. There were two women singing with you tonight. I don't know where they are, but there were two women backing you up tonight. Are either one of you engaged or married? How, I need to know, how old is the one fanning? I have two things to tell you. One is, God is going to release over 50 grand for your schooling. Two, if you wait, your husband's on the campus. God says, I'm taking what looked like a fake ring and I'm putting on a real one. Now you can talk to your daddy later, be seated. I love when God gets in my business because he's the creator of all things. So I want you to get your Bibles and give me 20 minutes to dialogue, then six minutes to preach it out. And then we all going home with victory. Touch somebody and tell them victory is in me. I know my identity, my name is victory. Victory, that's my name. Tell somebody, tell them, that's my name tonight. I don't just know who I am, I know whose I am. I want you to go with me, Lord help me preach this, to 1 Kings chapter 18. I brought a few amens with me, but I want them from here. 1 Kings chapter 18, beginning at verse 21. I will cut corners, but not on the reading. The story cannot be tampered with. The sermon or the ability to preach it can be a little contorted to your time frame and your ability to remember content, but the scripture must not be tampered with. I'm going to dance again. I'm not through. I ain't danced a long time, so now that I got it back, I got to get it all out. First Kings chapter 18, beginning at verse 21. It's good to see you, Bishop Chris Brown. Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, Thank you for Miami Church. Follow him. Yes. But if Baal, then follow him. Yes. Some of you are products of who you follow, but let's go on. The people answered him not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord 
But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Now, I want to show some of the young protégés, protégés of the priest world of the kingdom of God who didn't get a chance to actually go to school but have the term doctor on their name. I, um, I do want to help some of you fairy tales see that you actually do not have to act deep if the scripture can speak for itself. So I want to show you that I could have preached on one thing and 50 of you who's not jealous but you're open to gospel could have danced. And that is there's a mystery simply in the name Elijah. See how half of you got quiet because you're a product of who you follow. I get it, but Elijah, his name is spelled E-L-I-G-A-H. Let me catch this and see if five people get it. The uh, uh, word E-L, L is the word for God. El Rohai, El Shaddai, Elohim, El, y'all. Well, we knew that. No, you, no, no, you actually didn't catch it. And then the last three letters in his name is J-A-H. That's God also, Ja. Hold on. In the middle is you, I. Now, if 34 catch this, your future is bright. God said, I'll go ahead of you and I'll be behind you, right? See, some of you need to let folk call you what they want to call you, but tell them I'm right where I need to be. The old school used to say it like this, the cross before me. All right, be, be seated. So he is Elijah. He is named perfectly. To explain to the reader, you can't make it if God's not ahead of you. And if God's not behind you, I could still preach his name and never read the text because y'all look tired from dancing. When your dance steals your ability to hear the word of God, that's not a spiritual dance. A praise goes to preparation to hear the word of God. But let me... But I want to say this to 30 people. You need God ahead of you and behind you. Here goes some more preaching material. Keep it simple. Don't try to be deep if you ain't deep. Simple works. So 30 of you jump on this if you catch it. God is in your future preparing it and in your past getting rid of it. You follow? God just wants you to stay where you belong. He's the same today, yesterday, forward, forevermore. He's the same today with you, I, yesterday, and forevermore. Last thing you have to do to study this is find out what is the difference in the word L for God and Jah. Study that on your own. Verse 23. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under it. I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and I will also put no fire under it. Can I make a statement and keep reading and y'all push me? Because you done took all my prophetic gift, all my dance, all my energy. Can you accept the word of God? The only thing the church is missing is not a stage, but fire. I'll talk about that in a minute. Everybody church looking beautiful, looking good, musicians playing, but we're missing. Y'all don't hear the element of fire. Fire is not a perfect performance. This is not the Olympics. Now, some folk not going to say amen that are preachers and all singers or gifted, talented, special gifts because we're about to find out the difference in your ability and God's abilities. When you sing, you get mad if you don't hit a key or they play the wrong key. When God's singing, he don't care about whether it's a perfect key or not. And we're living in a day of perfect performance minus power. If I get 10 of y'all to talk, I'll preach. Look at somebody and tell them we need the fire. 
See, in this text, the fire is not man-made. No matches, no logs. God said, leave the fire to me. If I approve something, I will send not the rain, the fire. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching it for you. That's why I waited till you came back. Then he says, after we do this, set the stage, 24 said, you call on the name of your gods. And we will call on the name of the Lord. Y'all don't love God or you'll be talking. And the God that answereth by fire. Let him be God. So if your God sends fire, I'm going to serve him. But if my God sends fire, you got to stop everything you serve. Look at somebody and tell them I accept that challenge. The fire is the answer. The God that answers, I can get answers not by prophecy, not by preaching, but by fire. And what fire does for my two-member church is it purifies and identifies who's his. And when he has tried me, y'all y'all not, I shall come forth as gold. How is gold purified? By fire. What does the fire do for talkers in the back that ain't talking but took all my prophecy? It takes all of the impurities. That includes impure relationships. It starts cutting things away from you that is basically stealing your authentic self. I've got 15 minutes to teach. I said I was going to bore you, but I will not cut through the text. The holler's coming for you that want it. That's what he brought me here to do. Holler. All the people answered. It is well spoken. Then Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, choose your bullock now for yourself. Dress it first for ye are many and call on the name of your gods. But remember, I can't get nobody. Put no fire under it. I'm going to say this because I'm cutting through my sermon. I'm giving points as I'm reading and you should be responding after the point has been made. You that are watching by social media, write in the lower thirds what you feel about what I'm preaching. Good, bad, or indifferent, it don't matter because I don't actually read it. But put it in there anyway. But I want 50 folk to jump on this and catch it. When God's ready to bless you, you've got to let your enemies go first. You are not last, you're the final. I'm going to say it again. You are not last. Come up here, Newton. Come up here. Come up here. Hurry up. Stand in front of me. Stand right there. Stand behind him. One. Two, three. Y'all got your names? When I ask you who you are, please identify loud. Yes, One, two, three. Swap places. Go to the back. Move up. Identify yourself. Two. No way in the world. <laughs> See, some of you still think the same even when God promotes you, don't you? Don't feel bad. You're just an example. You're not the reality. Don't take it personal. You were moved to number one and still called yourself two. Why? One. Two. Three. Yeah. One. Two. Three. You can go to your seat. Identify yourself. One, two. Bye-bye. 
Identify yourself. One. No, sir. You're the only. You're no longer in a number. Y'all ain't talking. When God removes everybody out, you're in competition with. I will charge you a lot of money if you use that one. Some of you don't know what you're feeling right now. It feels like frustration, but it's because you're the only. And that's what Elijah said. I'm the only prophet. Which simply interprets because he wasn't the only prophet. He was the only prophet that was around because God said, I got 7,000 others you never met. Here's what only means in the Hebrew for 30 of you who will scream. It means I'm in what I'm in by myself. The reason why you're in it by yourself is when you come out, you don't owe credit to anybody. Oh, I'm trying. I mean to preach here. Verse 26, they took the bullock which was given them, dressed it, called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon. O oh, Baal, hear us. O oh, Baal, O oh, Baal, O oh, Baal. I'm almost there. Hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. Y'all ain't reading the Bible. And they leaped upon the altar which they made, which means these false prophets, y'all ain't going to catch it, are using the methods of the truth. They hold church for hours. They pray from morning till noon. They jump. They leap. They obey. Oh, but their God did not answer. And the church is looking like that now. We're calling on God. Oh, yeah. And it seems like he's not answering. This side is a little lazy on vocals. Look what Elijah did to them in verse 27, and I'm almost done. It came to pass at noon. He let them have church for hours. Then he walked over to them, and you're going to get a chance to do this by the end of the month or so. Elijah mocked them and said, cry a little louder. Then he went in, for he is a God. Maybe he's busy talking to someone else. Maybe he's pursuing somebody that's more important than you. Maybe he's on a journey. Maybe he's tired and y'all ain't helped me be taking a nap. And uh, he needs a wake-up call. They got so mad that they intensified their physical, visible form of worship. They cried! Louder. Now I'm saying something because y'all ain't pushing me and I ain't going to let y'all get under my skin. But let me say this to three people. It's a shame that the false get louder than the real. Believe it or not, praise is our God's wake up call. And I'll be with you in a minute. He said, when they called me, y'all don't know, I answered. You that praise and jump and shout and give God glory and preach and then talk negative after church, you're false. There goes the reality of who you are. I'm talking from bishops, preachers, pontificators, ecumenical, whatever your names are. Alexander, they didn't just get loud, y'all gonna miss it, they got so serious about him wanting to answer them that they began to cut themselves with knives, blood gushing out upon them and on the altar. This is where one of you ought to dance three seconds, if you're foolish enough, you'll be blessed. No music, ready? It's funny that their God wants to be covered with their blood, but our God covers us with it. 
Uh-oh. And when I see the blood, it looks like their God needs a transfusion. When I've got to give my God mouth to mouth resuscitation. CPR, a blood transfusion, then he's not a God I can trust at all. It came to pass, I'm almost done, 29, that by midday was past, and they prophesied until the time, look, they had church like us, of the offering. After no answers, they still raised an offering. What in the world? I got to stop sowing where I ain't growing. Will you tell somebody that? I, I just have to stop sowing where I ain't growing. Stop asking for my money and you ain't got no solutions. I, I'm sorry. Now some of these preachers don't like me because you're professionals at asking for money. But not professionals at giving solutions for problems. Don't ask for a steak offering and you gave me a hamburger sermon. You got to ask me. trying to pay your bills and ask God to pay mine because I joined you because I see a God in you that I believe in so tell God do for me because once he does for me I'll do for you I feel old school I get joy when I think about it y'all ain't talking you don't know like I know you can't tell it If y'all stop trying to be first ladies and be ladies first, y'all will be okay. And a lady pays her own bills. A lady buys her own car. A lady. A lady has something to bring to the table. More than prayer. I got a mama for prayer. Look at somebody, because that is a real epidemic. It's about to become a pandemic that everybody wants to marry, but can't carry. You don't just get his last name, you get his problems too. His rumors, his bills, his credit. All right, you better think twice now. And you don't want to be a first lady because I just showed you. I just showed you that you can be first and behind first is the second. You want to be his only. So you got to let him finish dating and let him finish making dumb mistakes. And you stay with God until God gets him ready for you. All right, I'm through. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Let it go over your head. They cut themselves with lancets, verse 28, till blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass when midday passed that they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. But there was still neither voice. You're paying for no answers. Again, you're paying for no answers. No voice. Am I reading a different Bible than you? No answer, and nobody cared, no regard. Elijah said unto them, come nigh to me. This is for two men who will help me preach. He basically tells them in 21st century a, a, a talk, it's my turn. Tell two people who understand that, it's my turn now. You got yours? Tell them you did all you can do. You got it all out your system. Let me show you how to do it right. It's my turn now. 
Now when I go, you can't come behind me because that means you're learning from me. What I want you to do is see how it's done. I want you to see how this is done. Elijah said unto the people, Apostle Curry, come near unto me. All the people came near to him. He, I'm about to preach what you asked me now. He, you asked me to preach this. He repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Who broke it? The false prophets. Oh, y'all didn't catch that. Uh, Y'all don't want me to preach, but I'm going to preach anyway. Ten folks scream on this. Let them have the stage. Once it's broken, you come back. Oh, look at somebody and tell them, don't call it a comeback. No, I'm sorry. That's worldly. It's, you are about, you're about to be God's greatest comeback. Tell somebody that near you who understands what you're talking about, you are God's greatest comeback. He does not focus on preaching better, singing better, playing better. He says, help me repair the altar. If the church ain't looking more like clubs versus a church. One thing I'm considering doing, even though I give my church the liberty to do what they want. But next year, I'm going to do it every first Sunday. I got to make the front of that church look like like it got an altar. I want the remember me table back on first Sunday. I want you to not walk up in the pulpit and dance while I'm preaching. This is holy ground. Y'all hear? I want you to sit down and stop all that walking while I'm preaching. We have to repair that. Stop texting in my church and don't drink a soda under my pew. Stop chewing all that gum and hear the word of the Lord. I hear some haters. Your church ain't going to be full. Yours ain't full now. That's not the problem. You can't get fire from God making God's house yours. Turn the lights all the way up when I preach. Don't make me feel. Cut them lights up. See, folk that like dim lights is because your deeds are evil. Cut them lights on. You that come from old school church that ain't pushing me, it's because you are now on the other side. I have to at least make something feel consecrated one Sunday out the month. Don't play no fancy keys. Keep it real devotional, testimonial type. I think we all should adapt that on first Sundays because, all right, forget it. You ain't got to do it. I got my own church. Don't build a new altar. Y'all didn't read it. Fix the one that was broken. Now we can't go as far back as I would go back on first Sundays. Because when I grew up, I grew up with real sanctified people. And sanctified doesn't actually mean holy. But it means restricted with a purpose, right? See, y'all didn't care. So wearing tight dresses was not a sin. But it was alluring to make the preacher sin. You know, false... Everything's not a sin. Some of things are weights. But I remember when we used to put on robes and open the back door and walking on, we come this far by faith. Woo. All right, all right. He never. Y'all went there one time. Oh, I'm singing on. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. 
Repair the altar that was broken down. Verse 31, Elijah took 12 according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob. I'm rushing. Unto whom the word of the Lord came saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. He made a trench about that altar. As great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put wood in order. Let me say this right now for talkers who will scream. When God's altar is built, there's order. I know y'all don't like what I'm preaching. We need order in the court. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving, but I need to enter his courts with praise. But praise is not the order. We need some order. And I'm going to say this even though I'm learning how to be a little relaxed without being sinful in this part here. And three of you should scream for me. We need to every now and then walk in the church and see who is the pastor different than the members. I just don't want you looking like the pew. Cops don't look like security guards. I just don't like bishops with skinny jeans real tight. Y'all got to cut that out. I don't like that. I don't like it. I'm just telling you what I don't like. Mm -mm. Muscle shirts because you finally losing weight but you still got a stomach. Come on, lose it. Bragging about your arms but the rest of your body ain't. Come on, stop that. If you, go to, if you go to any store, it tells you slim fit is for slim folk. Regular is for regular people. Full size. Y'all ain't talk. It's all right, I'm going to leave it alone. You women got to stay out of Forever 21 when you're 51. Y'all got to move on. Look to mine and tell him he's just bringing back a little order. That's all. He's bringing back a little order. If I dressed the way I feel, I wouldn't represent what I'm called to do. I'm grown. I can do whatever I want to, but I got to make sure what I do does not cancel out what he's called me to do. Stop dressing like your children. Dress for how your children want to dress when they get older. Set an example. Raise the standard. I'm about to holler. I'm about to holler. He built the altar, Pastor Cooks, and in verse 33, he put wood in order. He cut the bullock in pieces he laid him on the wood and said fill the barrels with water poured on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood and he said do it a second time y'all and they did it a second time he said do it a third time they did it a third time the water ran down about the altar and filled the trench also with water what he basically did, and I have four verses left for screamers, is he said, to prove my God is God, make this as difficult as you can. Now, I want to prophesy as a modern day Elijah to a group of people who will praise God loudly, and that's this. You are about to exit the most difficult season of your life. And the way you're going to get out of it is God's going to answer I feel the fire burning. Feel the fire burning. Feel the fire burning. Way down. Way down. In my soul, yeah. 
See, old school could do that without music. Feel the prayer wheel turning. Um, feel the prayer wheel turning. Yeah, yeah. Feel the prayer wheel turning. Way down. Tell somebody, way down in my so when you're old school you don't have to hit every note you, that's not your objective I'm talking about Jesus talking about Jesus talking about Jesus oh yeah he's a friend you ought to tell somebody two or three he's a friend of All right, we'll be back. Came to pass after the offering of the sacrifice. I'm about to preach that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac. You can help me preach. It's your church. Get a mic in Israel. Let it be known. No, you can help me. It's your church this day. That you are the God of Israel. You're not the God of everybody. Everybody say God. Everybody serves God. No, 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 no. I want to talk to old school folk. Our God has one name. See how quiet y'all got? And that name is not Muhammad. I respect their religion, but I expect my, but I respect my righteousness. Their name is not Hindu or Buddha or whatever the name. God gave himself a name. Now you that can't scream is because your pastor stopped serving him. You don't even know his name. His name ain't been mentioned in your church. You clap louder for your leader than who leads your leader. But God gave himself a name. That is above every name I'm talking to old school and at that name every knee shall bow every tongue must confess to the glory of God that Jesus is Lord hmm hmm I'm getting excited for real, but he, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, I feel like he's in the room right now. Look at somebody and tell him, you can talk God right into your face. You really can. Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel and that I am thy servant. And that I've done all things that thou hast turned that you've asked me to do and turned their hearts, y'all not reading it, back again to you. These are a group of people who've gone astray because something better came along that was infectious, false. Y'all don't hear me? All caps. And I need you, God, to help me turn the hearts of those that were once yours back unto you y'all don't hear if my people about five minutes I'm going to preach which is called by my name humble yourself pray 
Come on, look at me. Don't look at them. Seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways. Then, and not until then, where's my preacher's missionary and events? Will I hear from heaven? Which means I ain't been down to earth in a long time. I'll forgive their sin. And once I forgive them, I'll heal their land. Restoration has finally come. I've been restored. I wish I had five AME now becoming Baptist. Hear me, O oh Lord, hear me that this people may know that thou art the Lord God and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then, I've got one verse left. The fire of the Lord fell. Consumed the burnt offering. God was so much God, some of you don't feel it, that he didn't just consume the sacrifice, he ate the wood. Oh, not just the wood. The stone, not just the stone. The dust, and then he had nerve to lick up the water that was in the trench. Let me tell you what God did for 30 folk who will jump up and scream quick. He cleaned his plate. Everything you prepared for him, he ate it all. Y'all need to, he was basically letting you know this was the best meal I've had in a very long time. That's my twin making me preach now. the last time you presented something to God and he ate it all he liked your sermon your dance your song your preaching the plan the whole service was a 10 maybe for two talkers that's with me that may happen tonight If y'all stop texting and talking and sign language and pay attention to what he's about to send. We used to get plucked in the head, chewing gum, talking to somebody. The mother would come separate you and say, she would only take the one chosen and say, sit near me. That's how you knew you were chosen, not from singing and preaching. You got embarrassed, you got embarrassed publicly and they would bring you to the front seat and said, sit down and shut up and you be rolling your eyes. But years later, you're an apostle, you're a prophet. Used to get beatings in the bathroom. And then they tell you, now go back upstairs. See, I ain't got nobody. And sit your happy self down. And don't you move one more time. You love me? Yes. Lift up the water in the trench. Let me hear an A, please. Yeah, good, good. I want to stop there. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, this Lord. See, the original canon doesn't say the Lord. It says this Lord. Because they had an option. And the difference in the two gods is the one that answered by fire would not be no longer a comparison. He would be complete. Oh, yeah. This God. Oh, some of y'all ain't talking. He is not a God. The God. See, some of you need to stop preaching a gospel and preach the gospel, but I bring you back. This God is, I thought this was holy convocation. I tried to give you my best sermon. 
is, see, I didn't use your stage as a platform to get another appointment because the sermon I'm preaching is not liked in the earth. I use this as a repairing of the altar versus social media to get another appointment. Oh. He is the God. The Lord. He is the God. Second Timothy 3 and 5, then I'm going to take a text and I'm going to holler. I'm just going to go straight to hollering. So y'all come on with me. Second Timothy 3 and 5, hopefully you've caught the whole sermon. But hopefully 30 folk will jump when you hear this. Uh, uh, Second Timothy 2, uh, uh, Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 5. Having a form of godliness. Denying the power thereof. The orders for you that love God who will scream is you need to turn away from that group. Don't mix. Don't eat. Definitely don't marry. Y'all ain't talking to me. Oh, I'm going to read it one more time. And see if the middle section to jump up. Y'all must come from a church where you ain't heard holiness preaching in a long time. I wish he'd have kept prophesying. You can go to hell with a prophecy. But you can't go to hell living holy. Your prophecy can come to pass and you pass with it. See, God can keep his word, but can you keep his? Yeah. Having a form of godliness. But denying the power thereof. From such. Because if you hang with a person long enough, you will pick up their traits. Don't y'all take this wrong. I know I'm going to get blogged about this, but I love you. And I normally don't like doing things now that the world has changed. But when I grew up in New York, I used to love to sing in choirs. My father wanted to refuse me to sing in this certain choir. I said, Dad, they can sing. I want to travel with the choir. My father said, well, go on. Because, you know, a real parent be like, you know what? I'm tired of wrestling with you. We don't have no parents in here. I'm tired of wrestling with you. Go on out there. And one day, Apostle Coleman, he played the tape of our church choir anniversary. Thank you. And I was lead tenor in this choir. And you know, you follow the choir director. But I couldn't believe that I was clapping like this. That wasn't me. I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn. I'm an ex-gangster. But because I hang with the environment long enough, the traits, you ain't got to smoke a joint to get high. If you hang around it, you get a contact. Y'all ain't... to go I want to call this sermon for about 30 of you who will jump up because you know it's you you don't have a title you may have a title but you've never had a real opportunity to express God in the way you could to the people so that they'll understand how you feel about them the Lord told me to tell you this title and then you jump up like it's you the stage has been set will you tell somebody God says, I'm about to audition you. 
then I'm going to choose you. Yeah. Then I'm going to place you. And then I'm going to see whether you know your lines. Let me see if a few of you know your lines. I want y'all to talk quick. Have you tried Jesus? You understand your lines. Amazing grace that saved the wretch like me was blind. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me while I'm on. No weapon. Don't talk it. Preach it. See, your line's got to be in the same vein as the one that started. That's how the devil got in. He mimicked us and then changed the tone. Weeping may endure for a night. You know that some of the preachers ain't do it because they professionals. That's not my key. Negro, we didn't ask for a key. That means you're an actor. So we'll try it again. Weeping may endure for a night. Yay, though I walk. Your rod and your staff That will know that my head with oil Surely And I will dwell Now the way you know you got fire after you said it, you still felt it. You was like, yes, sir. You can come in on whatever key I'm in now because I'm going to church. But my God shall y'all know your lines. Oh, y'all got an organist, use it. Elijah basically says these prophets have messed up the true sincere representation of God but I've got something yeah right there that I want to Say to God, eh, mm, Lord, I want you to tell somebody to the right and left of you, I've got something. Y'all not going to help me preach in Hamlet that I want to say to God that if God hears me, I'll be all right. This is what I want to say to God. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord. To the place where I first received you. Oh, take me back. Uh, take me back, dear Lord. To the place where I first believed. Get somebody by the hand if they ain't false and get them back to the place where God can use them and say, neighbor, I've got a few words to a few songs that I want to quote to you tonight. This final night of holy convocation, 
when I quote these lyrics, I want you to let it saturate your heart. Here goes one of the songs I've had some good days. Heels to climb. Ah, hey. Some weary days, and I've had uh, some sleepless nights. Y'all ain't preaching to your neighbor, you done lost somebody. But tell them when I look around uh, and I try to think things over. person next to you is not feeling it shift your perception find somebody you can talk to and tell them that ain't the only stanza there's a second stanza that's prophetic it says although the clouds hang low and I can hardly see the road I ask the question I ask the question, Lord, why so much pain? But he knows, he knows, he knows what's best for me, even though my weary eyes cannot see. Preach me, Holy Ghost, all oh, of my good days. They outweigh my bad days. Look at somebody and tell them that didn't move you. But I'm going to pour water on it two or three more times. And watch the fire fall. Here goes the next song, neighbor. Some folk would rather have houses and land. Some folk. To silver and gold huh. These things huh. They treasure huh. They forgot about Y'all ain't preaching to nobody huh. Their soul But go your head back and say ah, ah, I decided Y'all ain't preaching to nobody ah, Hello, uh, to make Jesus uh, my choice uh, because the road uh, has been rough and the going has been tough and the hill has been hard. These songs too old for some of you to climb, uh, but I started out. Wish I had long hair. I started out, I started out, 1979, January the 4th, 8.36 p.m. at Kelly's Temple, 1801, Redfern Avenue, in Far Rockaway, New York, after two splits and a fifth of a party, I gave him uh, my old filthy God. And he gave me a robe of pure white. I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That's why I'm happy. I'm happy tonight. Shake a neighbor's hand. Now look at him like you got power. And say, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Congratulations on surviving the worst season of your life tell that neighbor neighbor here's my last testimony then let the fire fall the testimony is look where he's brought us from look where he's brought us from he's brought us out of darkness into this marvelous life come here and preach
preach to me. I stepped in the water, and the water was cold. He chilled my body. Preach me, Holy Ghost, but not my soul. Shake a neighbor like it's your best friend and say, neighbor, by tomorrow morning, everything that was broke, God's about to fix it. But you got to praise him tonight as if it's already done. Jesus, he's on the main line. Call him. Call him. Call him. Shake a neighbor's hand and say, our neighbor. not church in here grab one person make it your real friend and say neighbor the fire can't come until we call him you choose what you call him some call him wonderful some call him cancer some call him mighty god some call him everlasting father some call him prince of peace some call him lily of the valley He's the rose of Sharon. Some say the fairest of 10,000. Some say Ezekiel's wheel. Some say Jacob's ladder. Some say El Shaddai. Some say El Lohim. Some say El Roha. But I call him by the name with power. Demons are not cast out in the name of wonderful. Folk are not healed in the name of counselor. But if you call Jesus, I can't hear y'all calling him. If you call Jesus, oh, I wish I had 100 of you to not be ashamed to step out of yourself and call that name like your life depends on it. Call Jesus. Jesus. Grab your last neighbor. Don't grab a friend. Grab somebody that's on fire and say, neighbor, after this, I'm done with you. Because you ain't acting right. But if you're on the right side, this ought to move you. I tried him and I know him. I found him to be a friend. I know too much about him. On him, I can't depend. Save my soul, made me whole. Save my soul, made me whole. Save my soul, made me whole. Save my soul.
The fire's falling. Look above yourself and act like the, the ceiling is open. And say, Lord, let your fire fall. Come on, ask for fire. Somebody sanctified, scream fire. Somebody that trusts God, say fire. Holy Ghost is here. I stand. All other grounds. They're sinking sand. I dare not trust the sweetest frame. But holy lean on Jesus' name. I want you to say these three words to a neighbor and if they don't get excited, don't talk to them for five straight minutes. Just look at them with all power and authority and say, paid in full. That was prophetic. I'm speaking that over this house. Paid in full. You ought to, you ought to say it. 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 Pay me fool. Your house, your student loan, your tuition, your car note, this church, the property of the church, your business plan. You ought to clap your hands and say, pay it in full. We're going to close in seven minutes. Tole Casabrando. Do me a favor. I want to see a trailer. I want to see an edited version of how your victory praise will look by the end of the month. The trailer is short. If they want to see the whole story, they got to pay for your story. Oh, yeah. I'll let you see my trailer for free. And that is, I'm about to come out on the other side of victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at the man toshe, at the count of inidian sabaha. At the count of three, all of you that are not playing with the future and you believe August is not a fabricated month, but it is a Kairos moment in God's calendar for your shift to begin. I'm going to command that you jump, leap, or clap for somebody when the music plays, and I'm going to stop it in 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, your dance and whatever is going to cause where you were being attacked to stop. God is going to send fire in that area. You've got 30 seconds. One, two, one, two, one, two. Watch it, Apostle. I can tell we used to live together. Watch it, Bishop Brown.
for all of you that know you made it through the worst storm of your life I don't want you to dance for you I want you to touch somebody and tell them my next dance is for you and every area that's been broken in your life including you God's gonna repair you and it by tomorrow morning this dance is for you y'all dance for that neighbor and let them know you care from us and we brought their stuff in the church we need to let the world know it was ours from the beginning so I'm gonna say this and I'm serious to the men who need to make better salaries become better fathers and husbands you can't get it trying to have all that swag you can't let the woman be the key praiser of your house but to everybody that catches this I'm going to say two words if you remember what they mean even though the world stole it and you take it back and do it God said by tomorrow midday you'll see the first sign of a miracle the Lord said last dance last dance
neighbor's hand. Stop the drum machine. Stop all the music. Let's see if it's real. Let's see if it's real. When the feet and hands stop, the mouth still works. His praise shall continually. Hold that neighbor's hand, bow your heads. I gotta take you back one time, then I got to give you a closing word. My soul loves Jesus. My soul took you too far back. Loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. I need 10 of y'all to help me one time. He's a wonder in my, in my soul. Hey, he's a wonder in my soul. You preachers ought to be singing. He's a wonder. Y'all better get this fire back. In my soul, bless his name. He's a wonder. In my soul, good God Almighty, tonight, he, he's a wonder. In my soul, he's a wonder in my soul, bless his name. Woo! Woo! It's personal now. Don't shake, you gotta talk. I'm sorry, y'all better help me. I need some young people. Let the church say it. Yeah. Come on, loud. Come on, mothers, help me. Yes, Lord.
Hold hands with someone. I want the technicians, the engineers to put verse 34 on the screen. Don't walk, hold hands. I'm arrested by the Holy Spirit now.